Hi, it's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine. This week's Tuesday Tip video tutorial is decorating a clear tiny treat box. I'm using the All Things Thanks stamp set from page 129 in the 2017-2018 annual catalog. And I'm using the sentiment right here, You are amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do my stamping first. And I'm going to bring over a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And this measures two and a half inches by three inches. I'm going to bring over my Berry Burst ink pad. And here's the sentiment. I'll just ink that up. And then we're going to cut out the stamped image with the two inch circle punch. So let me bring over the two inch circle punch. And with our punches, you want to use them upside down. So we're just going to pick this up. Punch that out. I pre cut out a berry burst scallop with the layering circle framelit dies, and we're just going to attach that with a little bit of green glue. So we'll just add just a couple dots with, with multi-purpose liquid glue. A little bit really goes a long way. And then we'll just add that right on top there. I am just going to bring over my whole punch and add a punch in the top middle and we'll set that aside. Now I'm going to bring over my clear tiny treat boxes. This is how they come. They actually have a plastic film on them so let's begin by removing that and set that aside. And then what you want to do is kind of pop it open and crease on your folds. And let's do the top. I actually like to fold them back, backwards and forwards to get a nice crease. So we'll do that real quick. So that's the top. For the bottom, same thing. Fold these back, then we'll fold them forward. For the bottom, I'm going to put this piece in, these two sides in. And there we have it. So to dress up my box, I cut a piece of Fresh Florals Designer Series paper. It measures 2 inches by 6 inches. And I scored it on 2 inches and 4 inches. So let's fold on those score lines. And I'm going to add this right into our box with no adhesive. These boxes are two inch square, so you could actually do it front to back or side to side. Either way would work, whatever you prefer. So let's go ahead and close that up. Now I'm going to bring over a piece of Whisper White three inch classic weave ribbon, and I'm just going to tie that around the box and put a knot at the top. Go. Now let's bring back the image. For my image, I kind of wanted it to hang down in the front. So I'm going to bring over a piece of Whisper White Baker's twine. This measures 9 inches long. And I'm going to thread this through. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make two knots. So I'm going to make a knot right here, fairly close to the scallops.
And then I'm going to take one tail will go underneath the knot in my ribbon. And the other tail over the top. Then I will make a knot at the top up here. And that let, lets the image hang down nicely in the front. Okay, I'm just going to trim off my tails. And that's the finished box. And it's an easy way to dress up the tiny treat boxes. The tiny treat boxes actually come in a set of 16 for only $7.50. They are food safe and they're a great size to hold some candy, mints, or a small gift. And I have actually one more thing to do because each project needs a little bit of bling. I'm just going to bring over my rhinestones, pick one up with the very tip of my paper snips, and add one to the eye. It's amazing. So that's our finished box for today. I have something new for Tuesday Tip Video Tutorials. I have a card pack of the project. And if you like, comment, or share this video by midnight Eastern on Monday, September 4th, you'll be entered in to win this packet. Thanks so much for joining me today for another Tuesday Tip Video Tutorial. I'll be back again next week to share another project with you.